What is up, all you stone cold super fly? Ill matter, fish keep fucking up. You watch Aqua Fuck with me. Aqua da 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 funk da da. So listen, Ohio, right? There ain't many things I can tell you about Ohio, except they got the uh, the um, the fish rescue, the Ohio fish rescue, and they make banging potatoes. No, that's Idaho. But um, they do have a sickly club out there in Ohio that recently did something out of the box. Now, I don't want to say, I don't want to take credit or nothing, <laughs> but uh, I've been saying for a while now that um, fish clubs need to step outside of their comfort zone and step into the brave new world um, of, of the social media thing. And they, they have done with Facebook and all that, um, but it, it, was, it was more for announcements, you know? Well, Ohio Cichlid Association recently, I did a video about it, and so did Scott and King from King Queen Cichlids did a video about it, um, about how Ohio Cichlid Association, um, they went all out with this uh, social media thing, and they actually did a show, which as you know, because of the COVID-19, all the shows have been canceled. But they were like, no, we're gonna do something. And they put together a virtual online um, Cichlid, <laughs> and, and one of the things was that one of the most popular things about shows, at least in my opinion, even though I've never actually been to one, but it's the one thing that makes me want to go to one is their cichlid or fish competition, their fish shows. But they put one together and it was awesome. If you missed out on it, I'm telling you, you, you next year, man, next year, you got to get in on it when, when you can, because there were so many opportunities for people who have never been in a fish competition to do it from the comfort of their own home. Entry was easy. You don't have to drive nowhere. You don't have to pay for um, hotels or gas or food or nothing like that. But I put my I put my fish in the show, right? And uh, in fact, I've been wanting to show this clip for a while. But the only reason why I haven't is because uh, I didn't want to muddy the waters as far as you know the judges go. It's it's one hundred percent anonymous. So when you turn your fish in. You know, nobody knows whose fish it is. So you can go ahead and put your fish up against people who, you know, as far as the show show circuit goes, have been doing it, you know, for a while. So um, you're on an even plane. So I didn't want to put my this clip out because in fear that people might think, oh, well, you're showing the clip. So people are going to know who's your fish or whatever. Not like I'm all that, but, you know, just in case, I just rather had not deal with it. But here's the clip. This is my chocolate cichlid, right? And uh, let me show you the clip. I'm going to explain after the clip what it was about this chocolate cichlid that made me decide to enter this show. Okay, so I always get so many compliments about my chocolate cichlid. Now she, it's a female. Um, it, like most fish, the females don't grow as big as the males. And I was hoping, because she is on the little side, she is on the shorter side um, to be in a show, but I was hoping um, that her, um, you know, her tenacity, because one of the one of the uh, criteria is one of the judging points is, um, you know, um, deportment and uh this female cichlid is all over the tank and normally when i see um videos or or, or chocolate cichlids um on videos they, they they're always hiding and very timid <clears throat> whereas as mine is not at all and my thought was okay this is a beautiful fish uh, where she's a little bit smaller the fact that i would imagine most shows don't have chocolate cichlids as entries because they do not show well they do not transport well they they, they get real shy and they, they color down and they hide and it, that's why I would never be able to show this fish in real life because if I took it out of its its its, its environment and somewhere else it, it would it would just it would not show well so this was a perfect opportunity for me to show my fish in all its glory so I answered this um she's got yo the colors is there her tenacity is there all that all that all that's there the only problem was in my opinion um I don't know yet because I haven't got the the the, the um the printout as to what they said on my fish um, I, I don't know. I don't know if the si her size was. A, I would imagine her size is probably an issue, um, as far as judging goes. But I was hoping that the fact that it's a female, you know, they take that into consideration, and um, some other stuff that you know I would do well. Well, anyway, look, the results are in. Now, my baby girl, my baby girl, 
did not place. And that's okay because I, I got so much knowledge from this experience. And honestly, I'm be 100%. I, I'm, I'm, I'm curious. I mean, I'm even interested in where my channel is going to go because I got a serious fish show bug. You know, like I, I kind of want to, I'm, 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 I'm pulling fish aside as, you know, um, for the next show. I'm prepping them and all that stuff. So, um, but I'm curious as to see the printout as to what the judges said about my fish so that I can use that information the next time, you know. Actually, Saturday, what's today? <clears throat> Today's the 23rd. This coming Saturday, um, I got a live stream going, coming on with uh, um, Jeff, one of the, uh, he was actually the guy in charge of the um, the entries, and, and Scott from King and Queen Cichlid, uh, and we're going to be talking about fish competitions, fish shows, criteria, what you need to do, how you can participate in the next one, so I hope to see you there. Please, please show up, uh, but yeah, I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm happy with my fish. She didn't place, but you know what? That's okay, because I, I did it. I, I got that initial thing out of my out of my you know system, and and I'm fired up for the next time.